What's up guys? My name is Daniel Hatermoda and we're going to talk about Kurko Nile Basket Season 3 Episode 2. This is going to be really quick because I'm really tired right now. So we get a little bit of a recap from last episode and it's kind of with the tension between Hayazaki and Kisei. And then we get a flashback scene Hayazaki and this is right when Kisei just joined the team. It was like two weeks after he joined the team and it's like no one really like, seems to like Hayazaki and they're all kind of not really liking him because he's like he he takes things for us himself and he's as uh kuroko said he's a pillager he he takes and steals and no one seemed to really like him on the team i noticed and this is probably why akashi kicked him off the team and kisei actually became the replacement the game starts off and kaijo gets the tip off and immediately once the game starts Kisei and the other members of the Kaijo basketball team are automatically winning and it gets me thinking all right I don't know what this guy can do or Hayazaki, what Hayazaki can do if Kisei's winning so easily and I thought I remember in, in like the early episodes they said Kisei was the weakest member of the generation of miracles and that Hayazaki could easily beat him and I was I was like how is this possible is maybe just Kisei's gotten a lot better but we find out later that's not true. We see that Kaijo has the momentum of the game and they're scoring and they're scoring, but then suddenly Hayazaki gets the ball and like he's one of those people who's like a ball hog when you're a little kid and you always want the ball. I always hated those kids when I was little. They would never let me have the ball because I was one of those quiet kids. And well, Ka Hayazaki's like that and he's being a dick. And then we notice that he makes some shots and then the other team, <clears throat> Some of their players who make usual shots stop making those shots and it's like how is that possible it's like it's like they're he's copying them but taking it and we figure that out yeah that he pillages their styles and then that allows him to use it but then the other player who originally used it can no longer use that technique and i'm hoping they explain that a bit better because i'm still a little confused on how he exactly takes their style so during the game we also see if hayazaki doesn't get the ball that he hits his senpai or his like elders i guess and that's not something you do you don't hit someone that's older than you it's like you're hitting your parents and in japan i think they take that very seriously like your senpai is above you and you can't do that and that i guess that makes sense in a way it's more like a japanese culture i don't know if we do it here as much but kagami got really mad about that and so did Hyuga, and so did the coach and like basically the whole Serian team got a little mad about it and then we noticed that Kisei's team Kaijo also gets mad about this but he still does it and the team Hayazaki's team admits yeah we can't win without Hayazaki because this team is has Kisei he's one of the generation of miracles after Kisei notices this he starts he starts getting more serious and he uses like other styles he's learned i think he uses about a bit of aumine's style and then he uses kagami's dunk where he goes around and then dunks it and then uh, uh, hayazaki gets the ball and he keeps making the shots and the players that make their usual shots aren't making those shots and hayazaki's using those styles like the one guy who went he just throws it up like that and the one player who gets all the rebounds he didn't get the rebounds and Hayazaki was and <clears throat> it's, it's really getting me mad like how is he doing this how is he doing this and I can see Kisei's getting mad so he gets serious about it and when he gets serious he starts using the other generation of miracle styles mainly Aumine and then he uses Kagami's dunk and when he, he uses Kagami's dunk uh Hayazaki said that's mine now and when he goes to the other side he uses it and that gets me thinking will Kagami not be able to use his like signature dunk anymore that get like how how just how and Kagami's not even playing the game so I really want to find that out so by the end of the episode we get a flashback of Kisei trying to get the starting position only after you started for a couple weeks and he's trying to take it from Hayazaki and when they play Kisei can't get a move on him and all the most of the generation of miracles notice like Kisei is pretty good but just Hayazaki can can't be beat it, it it's understandable and maybe Hayazaki kind of deserved the title of generation of miracles 
but he didn't get it because no one got gave that title to those players until maybe their second or third year. I think basically once Kise joined the team, they started to notice that the Takeo Middle School basketball team was really good. That's where they got the idea of <clears throat> Generation of Miracles. Not only does Hayazaki beat Kise in the basketball game, their pickup game, he but he takes his popularity and makes Kise look like a fool. And I mean, that's a little demeaning. I mean, you you could okay, you could beat someone in basketball, but then by taking their girlfriend and embarrassing it in them in front of a whole your whole basketball team, that's a little much. And the end of the episode, the second quarter ends, and I think in the third episode, we're just going to get the rest of the second quarter, and I think they're going to lose. Maybe Kisei might be holding back. Maybe he'll go into the zone. Uh, I don't know, but uh, that's it for this one. Uh, peace out.